Another really good one for teaching even and odd numbers for Hazel were these lollipop sticks. We've got a few coloured ones and I just started off um, with like saying, is this an even or an odd? Does it have a partner or a pair? Um, and she was able to tell me. And also then I could add in other colours as well and say, is this an odd or an even? Is this an odd or an even? Um, so lollipop sticks were quite good to use. Um, we also used some fruit this morning. I got some oranges out and asked her um, to lay the oranges out, three oranges, two oranges, one orange, and then said um, out of those oranges, which ones were even and which ones were odd. And we had a little discussion about that too. Um, so yes, I think she's grasped the concept of even odd numbers. If I was just to put the number two in front of her like that, I think that's probably my next port of call, whether she knows from memory that two is an even number or not, or whether she knows how to work it out. That might be a good next step for us. So I've quickly put together the numbers one to 10 on the floor and wrote odd and even down here. Um, I'm going to tell Hazel what the words say because she doesn't actually know, or I don't believe she knows, to look at the, the word, what it would actually mean. So I'm going to tell her that that is odd and that is even. And then what I'm going to try and do is a little mini sort of test or just see where we're at, or if she even knows, because I don't know. Um, I'm going to say to her, can you put all the odd numbers on the odd sheet of paper? And can you put all the even numbers on the even sheet of paper? And if she wants to, I'm going to let her, to, let her use the pasta to count to work out whether the numbers are odd or even. I think that's a fair starting point before we remove the pasta for counting pairs and stuff like that, because we're only just day two into talking about odd and even. You're ready? Right, so which, do you know which word is odd? Oh, wow, okay, that is even, good girl, and that is odd. What you think are the odd numbers over here and what are the even numbers over here? And if you want, you can use the pasta to help you work out if it's an odd or an even number. Very good. This one even. Okay, pop it on even. This one. So it's four, an even or a... Very good. One, two, three, four, five. Is that all together? I don't know. Work out. Do they have pairs or not? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. They've all got pairs. Yes. One, two, three, four, five and six. Okay, good girl. Now let's do them in their pairs. Do you want to put them in their pairs together? One pair, two pair, three pair. So does that make it odd or even? Even, well done, because they've all got pairs. One, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. seven. Right, so is seven an odd or an even number? Let me see. Okay. Four. Well, there's a pair. One. And there's a pair. There's another pair. What do you by think? By itself. So if it's by itself, odd. it makes it an odd. Very good girl. Oh, yes. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we've got eight. So let's put them in their pairs. Do you want to put them in their pairs? That one pair. That Good girl. One pair, that one pair. That one pair. So is there any odds? Nope. So what does that make it? That one. Very good. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good girl. So let's sort out their pairs. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Then that one, the odd one out. Very good girl, it is odd. Odd. Because it doesn't have a then we need pair. Ten. Then we need ten. Okay, so let's put them in their pairs. 
One pet, two pets, three pets, four pets, ten pets. Does that make it even or an odd number? Even. Pop it on the even then. Even. Hazel, your yeah. number one was right. It is an odd number. So is your number nine and your seven and your three. So you got all of those ones right. Do that one. Your even numbers. Eight is an even number. Yes, you did that right. So is 10 and two, four and six. But five is not an even number. Do you know why five is not an Do even number? We've got one, two, three, four and five. Do you want to just double check and see if they have pairs or partners? That's right, so it makes it an odd. And I think you've done brilliantly, considering you only got one um, in the wrong place. I think you've done fast, fantastic. So I thought I'd quickly just share this little activity because it's quite an easy and cheap one to do. Obviously, you only just need um, a pen or a pencil, piece of paper, and, and most people have generally got some pasta pieces in or something similar that they could use that's fairly cheap um, for teaching odd and even numbers. And I'll share a few of the odd and even things that we've been doing this week, learning about odd and even numbers. And yeah, you can see Hazel's um, progress.